Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mackenzie and today we are sitting under my beautiful arch trellis that is loaded with cucumbers. I'm growing two varieties on my cucumber trellis. I have the Chicago pickling cucumbers on this side and then on this side is the Dubai Shima Shirazu uh, cucumbers and both seeds are from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Your plants are also going to be a lot healthier and happier when they're off the ground. They're getting better airflow, and when they're off, the leaves are off the ground like that, it means less disease coming to your plants, which means they will be healthier. I do not have blight on these plants. Not saying that I wouldn't get blight with the plants like that, but it's less likely to happen or it's going to take longer for it to happen. Now, this is my first year uh, trellising cucumbers in this fashion. Last year I did it on my um, chicken wire fencing and yeah it just didn't look the, as beautiful as this. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna explain to you what I did. So I planted, started uh, three seeds in those little cow pots. So they're like peat pots but they're made out of cow manure, composted cow manure. And then I started them in my greenhouse and I planted them out here, three of them on each side. And as they grew, I decided to take some elastic to tie them because they didn't have big tendrils yet. And then what you got to do is you got to come through here and get your suckers off so that it grows to one, one vine, one main vine. And here's a sucker right here. They're just the leaves. It looks like a whole new plant starting out when they get bigger. But I've been keeping up on my suckers, so this one's uh, pretty small, but there it is. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. Let me see if I could find any more. I don't see any yet because that's the top of the plant and I want to make sure it keeps growing up so I'm not going to top my plants. But here, here's another one. There's another sucker right here. So you got your sucker and then you got your flowers which will be either male flower or female flower and the female flowers have the fruit on them. So there's another sucker. Here's an example of a female flower. See the little cucumber on it? Female flower. This is a male flower. It's just the flower with a stem. So what happens is, is the bees will come pollinate from the male to the female. And if you don't have good pollinators in your garden, what you could do is actually pluck the male flower off, expose the stamen. So I'm gonna kind of peel these petals back and then you just shove it up in there. Shove it up in the female flower, give it a wiggle, and you could go from flower to flower to flower doing that. And I've already picked off like four pickling cucumbers off this, and tomorrow it looks like I'll have more ready, so I'll be able to do a small batch of pickles. And then on this side, I think this side isn't as tall because they're shaded out by the sunflowers, but that's okay. These are slicer Japanese Cucumbers are supposed to have smaller seeds. I'm not sure about pickling with them yet, so I guess I'll have to experiment with that and let you know how it, how it goes and how they taste. I've never had a Japanese cucumber before. I heard they're delicious, and I really wanted to try them. So the same thing goes for this side. And then, so when they start growing up and they kind of want to grow every which direction, you see how this one isn't as straight as this side? I kind of help them along. Along the tops will be these tendrils that are really nice and curled. And I find that if you just take them and kind of help them along to where they're supposed to go, they will hold on. You kind of got to wrap it, help it out. And there you go. It's held on. That's the easiest method I can show you. Cucumbers do like a decent amount of water. I haven't had to water as of late. Last week I did fertilizing, but it's been pretty moist, so I have not had to water. So just make sure you do that. Lila. Sorry about that. Lila saw a dog. Um, anyway, so you do want to fertilize. I'm using a Neptune's Harvest tomato and veg fertilizer for a liquid. I use the Trifecta Plus for a granular. And so once every week or two, once every week and a half, whatever, I'll come out here and fertilize with it to help keep these plants nutritious. I'm also using neem oil and BT spray for my pesticides. They're organic. Uh, BT is a natural bacteria that will kill soft body insects like your caterpillars. And then the neem oil helps repel the hard bodied insects. 
So I make sure I spray them once a week, both sides of the leaves. Um, I did see some Japanese beetles on here. And, but they don't look too bad. My plants look overall healthy. So those are my tips on growing an awesome arched trellis with cucumbers all over them. And so I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope you liked it. And th thank you for stopping by, because I'm going to tell you something. I love you, and so does Jesus. Insert this little clip, though. The reason why people uh, vine their cucumbers to one vine, or prune them to one vine, rather, is the fact that the plants are now focusing on growth and putting off production of more uh, fruits than rather if you don't prune them at all to a single vine. Now, you can let them vine out naturally, right? You won't get as many fruits per plant. So that's just another little tip there for you, too.